Welcome back. So today I am going to be talking about baby gear that I am using again for my third baby and gear that I maybe would skip for next time. So if you're new here, my name is Kate and I am a soon to be mom of three. I am 31 weeks pregnant with my third baby. My other two kids are six and three. I am also the founder and editor in chief of mini magazine, which is a parenting magazine that I have run for the last 12 years. So I have seen a lot of baby gear. I've reviewed a lot of baby gear. I've tried a lot of things. So I'm going to talk about kind of the newborn essentials that I would use again, what I am using again, and what I would maybe say pass on if you're expecting a baby. So let's get into it. So first up is the snoo. If you have had a baby or you're having a baby, you've heard about the snoo, you've wondered if it's worth it because it is kind of pricey. Um, the snoo is an electric bassinet. And what happens is the more that your baby cries or the louder that your baby cries, it adjusts its rocking motion and it adjusts the white noise that plays. It gets louder, it moves a little bit faster, and it kind of helps your baby to sleep pretty quickly, pretty early on. You can use it from birth. I will be using the snoo again for my third child. I have used it with both of my kids before. However, I would say if you're on the fence about buying the snoo because it is pricey, I would consider renting it only if you're on the fence because the snoo, in my experience, I have found to be child specific. So with my first baby, it had her sleeping through the night at eight weeks old, which if you're a very tired new parent that is a game changer. So I would absolutely recommend the snoo. With my second baby, it had met its match and she was just not a great sleeper. So I do find it to be child specific. She didn't really love it. Every time we put her in it, it just didn't really seem to do much. We are going to give it a shot for the third baby and we'll see and we will use it from birth so I can do another update here when we set everything up and see how it works with number three. So I would recommend this new, but if you're on the fence about it and you are kind of wondering if you want to spend that much money on a crib or a bassinet that you can only use for six months, um, they do have a rental program. So consider renting this new if you want to give it a shot. Next up is the Duna. Now the Duna is kind of like a household name at this point, especially for new parents in the last couple of years. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the Duna, it is a stroller car seat combo. It's one piece. So it goes from car seat to stroller in seconds push of a button. Um, we will be using the Duna for this third baby. However, it is my first time using the Duna. So I will give an update on that as well once we get that started. But I have, being a parenting magazine editor, I have been able to test it and try it. So it is a little bit heavier than other strollers that I've had in the past. However, for convenience purposes alone, and I'm just thinking coming out of the hospital, and instead of having to carry the infant carrier through the hallway, you can just turn it into a stroller real quick. Or for all the doctor's appointments, instead of lugging your baby in the infant carrier, because I remember walking through the parking lot like with the infant carrier over my arm, um, instead of doing that, you can turn it into a stroller. It's so much easier for travel, for just everyday convenience, even running to the store, I'm thinking. So I would recommend the Duna based on how I've tried it and tested it as an editor so far, and I will give you the real life update with baby number three in a couple of months. Third on the list that I will be using this time is the Four Moms Mamaru baby seat. That's another one that is Bluetooth run and it can hook up to your phone. There's an app. There are several motions to the Mamaru, like rocking, there's one that's called like tree swing, and there's a whole bunch of options. There's also, I believe, sounds on that one as well that you can control from the app. I have used it with both of my kids now. I will be using it for the third one. It comes in a bunch of different colors. It has like these three balls on the top that are black and white on one side, which is great for eye development. And then on the other side, they're primary colors. So you can kind of turn them around as your baby gets a little bit older. But um, we use the Mamaru many, many times. I love it. 
Um, the other baby seat that I will be using this time around is the Baby Bjorn Bouncer. Super cute. It comes in a bunch of different colors again. That one's really easy to clean and wash and I I almost found myself using that one more because it doesn't need to be plugged in. So that you can kind of take anywhere. We would take it outside with us. We would put it in the kitchen whenever we would move room to room. So I, I do find I use that one a little bit more than the Mamaru just because, you know, there's no technology associated with it. It's a baby seat <laughs> that bounces and when they start kicking it kind of propels them a little bit more which is I found that my second baby loved to be in that seat so we will be bringing that back for the third go around. Next up on the list is the Solly Baby Wrap. I could not speak higher of Solly Baby. <laughs> I love the wrap so much. I have quite a few colors. I have tested them many times as an editor, but then used them with all of my kids so far. I will be definitely using them for number three. They are so soft, so comfortable to wear, like endlessly. Like I am really like so excited to use a baby wrap this next time because I just love the feeling of it. It takes maybe a tutorial or two to watch to get the fit just right and get the tie right. But once you do, it's like, hands-free heaven if you're a new mom and you or you have multiple kids and you have things that you need to do and baby wearing is fantastic so highly recommend Sally baby wrap I have tried others also that are similar but Sally baby is my favorite um, if I were to recommend another baby carrier like a, a little bit of a bulkier baby carrier not like a knit wrap um, the Ergo Baby is great. I've used that as well for when my kids get a little bit heavier, a little bit older. We've kind of graduated from the Sally Baby Wrap up to the Ergo Baby Carrier. And some people prefer that over the wrap. But I love my wrap so much and I will absolutely be using that for number three. One thing I am not bringing back for the third time is we had a baby bathtub with like a thermostat on it like a digital thermometer to kind of test the bath water and tell you how hot it is um pass I just I don't think it's that necessary I think you can get any baby bathtub I do not think it has to have the thermometer on it at all um there are some that even fit over your faucet if a thermometer is something that you want to go with but I do not think you need the entire contraption with the thermometer on it just for that purpose that's a pass for me Another pass for me this time, and I passed on it last time too, are those digital monitors that kind of hook around baby's feet and monitor either their heart rate or their breathing. I know that many moms love them and many moms swear by them. That's a pass for me. Um, I tried it with my first baby. I tested it before as an editor, but I tried it with my first baby. And I can tell you, getting the fit right to make sure that you're getting accurate readings is kind of tricky. The monitor kept going off and as a new mom, the anxiety that comes with that of like just the beeping and being like something is wrong, the heart rate's not right, the breathing's not right, not worth it, pass, 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 not worth it at all. I think it's a little bit more anxiety causing than it needs to be. Again, if that's something that you feel you would prefer to have that peace of mind, then go for it. For me, that's a pass. I have used and tried several breast pumps in the past with my other two kids and this time I'm going to be trying the Motif Aura. It's a hands-free pump. I've tried the LV pump also. I think that one again is going to be specific to your own situation. Some people love a hands-free pump. Some people would prefer the regular electric pump. I will be using both most likely. Um, the hands-free pump for me is easy since I have other kids now, especially very busy toddlers, a, well, a six-year-old and a three-year-old. Um, so I'm going to be on the move a lot. So I think a hands-free pump is going to come in very handy. I'm going to give that one a try. I've tried Motif's other pump, which I love. I will be using my regular electric pump in addition to this hands-free pump. But again, I think that's specific to your situation. If you're a mom on the go or you're going to be pumping at work, the hands-free pump might be something that you really want to give a shot. This time I'm going to be using both. Again, hands-free just because I have two other kids that I'm going to be chasing. I'll be using my electric pump probably more often, but I'm going to give them both a shot. 
I don't think that you need to have both right away, especially if you're a new mom or this is your first baby, then I think stick with the regular electric pump and maybe only do hands-free if it's something you feel like you're gonna be traveling a lot or you're gonna be pumping at work, then get the hands-free one as well. But if you are starting out as a new parent, I would just stick with the electric pump. There are approximately 4 billion diaper bags on the market and I have been lucky enough as an editor to try many, many of them. And I can say by far my favorite and the one that I'm using now and will continue to use with my third baby is the Dagny Dover Indie Backpack. So hands down my very favorite diaper bag that I've used, it's huge. It has tons of storage. It comes with a wet bag and a changing pad. It has so many pockets, pockets on the inside, pockets on the outside. I love it so much. It's like a neoprene material, which I know you're not supposed to throw in the washer, but I can tell you I have thrown mine in the washer. I've had three of them now in three different colors, and I have thrown mine in the washer before just when it starts to get a little dingy looking, and it's still turned out fine. Um, I have the black color right now, which is holding up great. I've had it for a while. I plan to use it again for baby number three. So Dagny Dover Indie Backpack, 10 out of 10. We're gonna talk about style staples real quick in this video in maternity fashion. If you're going to invest in one piece of maternity clothing as a new mom, whether it's your first baby or your second, third, fourth, bump suit. This is my first time trying bump suit. We wrote a story on bump suit for Minnie in our spring issue and so I was very excited to try a bunch of their maternity jumpsuits in several different kinds. So I have the shorts version, I have this version which is long like leggings like um, to the ankle and they are the most comfortable thing I have ever put on my body. The fabric is so crazy soft. You can wear them before, during, and after. I have no reason to say that you couldn't. You can dress them up and dress them down. They are the most comfortable maternity item I've ever worn. They come in a ton of different shades. So I have them in black. I'm gonna order the shorts version in ivory just for the rest of um, my pregnancy this summer. I am not a huge fan of investing in maternity clothing just to be able to wear it for a few months. I just don't love doing that. So bump suit is the one like exception that I have. It's maternity. It is a maternity brand. However, you can wear it before, during, and after. And I think it's a great item to invest in and you will live in it if you're pregnant. Next up, you're going to need a monitor and I have tried dozens of them over the last decade that I've been a parenting magazine editor. I have tried the silicone one that wraps around your crib. I like that one, but ultimately <laughs> that is something that my toddler then began standing up in her crib and knocking off. And then I was just looking at her face because she would end up holding it. It was, it's hilarious. I have so many pictures saved from that monitor. Um, if I have to recommend one, I would say the Nanit is absolutely worth it. I have used it with the floor stand, which I prefer, which kind of gives you that like aerial view of baby in the crib. And then it comes with these Nanit Insights, which are great for like detecting sleep patterns. So you can kind of get baby on the right schedule and see what they do and their awake times. So that one is great. I would absolutely recommend the Nanit. It comes with a little stand you can kind of set up in your baby's nursery on like a dresser or wherever. And we've done both of those things. I would highly recommend to use it with the floor stand just because I think that aerial view is so great of baby, especially when they're really, really small. If we are talking about newborn essentials, one of the items that should be on your list is a sound machine. So again, we're gonna start with the Snoo, which does have built-in sound in the bassinet itself. But once you graduate out of that past six months and your baby goes into a crib to start sleeping, you're gonna wanna have a sound machine in your nursery. So I have tried several sound machines. The hatch rest is great. I don't think you need to have a specific sound machine. Many of them come with lights and different settings that you can adjust for sleep schedules and whatnot. Frida now makes one, which is great. I've just tried that one. And it's also an okay to wait clock, so you can use it a little bit longer as your baby gets into the toddler stages and you're learning to get, they're learning to stay in their own bed and when it's okay to be awake and when it's okay to not be awake. Um, so I've tried both of those and I think they're both great, but I think you can really use any sound machine I 
would recommend getting one that doesn't run on the Wi-Fi in case you are in a place where internet is a problem or you're going to be traveling and internet might be a little wonky. Um, get one that does not need to be connected to Wi-Fi. We've used one like that in my three-year-old's room for a while now and it works great. So um, make sure a sound machine is on your list, but again, it doesn't have to be super specific. One more essential I know you have seen everywhere and you're wondering if you really need to have that because it kind of grosses you out is the Frida Snot Sucker. Buy it, hands down, no question. Buy it, I will be using it for the third time now. Um, there are gross things that you do when you're a parent and you just become immune to them and sucking snot out of your baby's nose is one of them. But it is, there's no gadget that compares to it. I have used ones with batteries in them before, but the nothing compares to the Frida Snot Sucker. So absolutely a must have for new parents. Um, and also their nail kit is really great too. I'm still using that on my three-year-old's nails. Really anything from their baby care line is fantastic, but the snot sucker and their nail kit are great and I would absolutely add those to your registry if you're a new parent or add them if you're having second, third, fourth, fifth babies. Um, something to definitely use. I could talk about baby gear all day long and I do because it's my job, but those are going to be my top newborn essentials that I am both using this time, have used in the past, would absolutely recommend. So. If there's something else you have a question on, leave it in the comments or definitely tell me if there's something that you're using that you would recommend as a first time mom. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.